Wednesday, August 3rd. It is the 216th day of the year with 150 days left. Going back quick. I've been occupied the last couple of days and came back this morning and looked at this and went, well, there we go. If I guess we were to define a north-south breach in the jet stream, and Dr. Beckwith, if you're watching, um, I believe this is what you were talking about. Clearly coming down, either way, seeking all the way path down. Just quite amazing. You know, we really are seeing changes, not only in our Earth, but I think we're just seeing changes throughout. And it's sometimes hard to get your mind wrapped around that these things are actually happening. But as you can see, there's some continuation of what we saw now going on two weeks. Uh, I do see that the flow here off of Africa has abated, but this particular pressure cell has intensified as, look at South, look at South America. It seems to be surrounded by these pressures zones. And look at this. I mean, I think that would qualify wouldn't you? Definitely north-south. So what I wanted to go today and was to see, could we find any south-north? I mean, I think that would be even more interesting, would it not? Well, look what I found. Now, Obviously, this is subject to everyone's own interpretation, but I would say that this qualifies as the southern polar jet stream, right? And seems to be caught up in here, but this definitely seems to be throwing wind up channel. I could be wrong, but looks like it to me. And then let's look over here in the Indian Ocean. I keep telling you there is something going on here, not only I think with the weather and the jet streams, but also with the uh, magnetic south. Um, there's a lot of indications that when the pole flip takes place, and it is going to take place, now whether it's in our lifetime or not, who knows, but all the indications are that we have some serious movement on our poles. And in any case, it seems like it continues this whole area in here. It's seismic activity. Uh, there's a lot of volcanoes that are happening in here as well. Um, just as you know, uh, intensified typhoons. This whole area is in region is changing. So I thought what we'd take a uh, quick look at as well is maybe we could get uh, the temperatures and see if we see anything unusual. And I can't see any. And these are the temperatures, still hot. <laughs> I'm telling you, I have some friends that live along Florida in the Gulf and they tell me that yeah look at that that's that's almost 91 degrees that's bath water but anyway so what you heard in the background was the International Space Station and I'm bringing this in because I think this is important. Yesterday, NASA announced that they are phasing out the live 
uh, camera feeds from the International Space Station. And quite frankly, this is appalling. Uh, it's appalling on so many different levels that, let me just start out with one. It is wrong, I think, I don't know from an ethical or moral position, but I wonder if legally, this is taxpayer money. And I don't know who NASA thinks they are, but NASA is not God. And we have a right, since it, it's our money, you and I, and whether you live in the United States or not, most likely your country has contributed to this monstrosity in space. We, as citizens who have paid for this, have the right to not only see what's going on, but to have access to what's going on. So NASA, I am petitioning you to rescind this decision. You've already shown us enough. We know it. You're not hiding anything from us. So I say we all should contact NASA and petition them to rescind this decision of taking down all the live camera feeds, which will begin this month and conclude in September. Folks, once that happens, they will spoon feed us what they want. And that's not what the way it's been. That was not the contract when they put up the International Space Station. It was under contract, NASA, that you were to give the people of Earth, and hey, how about us fools who paid for it, complete access. So get off this whole idea. Keep the information flowing. Now, I have a great tool for those of you who really enjoy uh, learning about space, really finding out um, what the satellites are showing. And this is LASCO. It's the Large Angle and Spectromic Conograph Experiment. This is what you get pictures from, and I'll show you what these pictures look like here. This is a real-time picture today. By the way, this is a comet that is bigger than Earth now, and it is appearing that it is heading straight for the sun. Uh, we need to watch this. We need to see what type of reaction this is going to have. Uh, again, thank you, NASA, for letting us know about this comet. Man, you guys are really on the job. I digress. So I'll leave the website uh, link here um, in the video below. But let me just show you what you can do. So this is the calendar and you can go in and I already had some dates in here but let's just go back to let's say all right let's do the 31st all right that's our date we want to hit zero we want to go all the way to that and we also you can go ahead and in the hour but also get it to the next day. Now, you have three choices. You can go with the red spectrum, strictly blue, or you can actually go in here and get them combined. We're gonna combine. You hit submit. And now you have your own satellite space movie and you can go back as many years as this has been up I find it just fascinating how you can see this and you can explore and you can see right down there you can have all the control that you want on this so this is a very cool tool there are many others that uh, I'll begin to show you as well but this one is really cool uh, and as many of you know yesterday we definitely saw some interesting things. And if it was for the fact of being able to know how to go in these back doors and really begin to have to ferret out the, the data. But once you learn how to do that, it's remarkable what you will actually find and can actually study and research. And that's where most of the research is done. It's not while it's happening. It's after the fact. So I hope that this may be helpful. And we'll talk again on the next report.